Hi everybody, welcome to video number seven. This video is not necessarily a tutorial video, it's more of a FAQ kind of thing. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about some of the ideologies and some things to be careful of. When you're doing the embouchure, you might think, how much should I do this? Or maybe you have a couple of different reactions. Maybe one of your reactions is like, wow, this is really helpful. I'm gonna do this for an hour a day. I would say, hold off. This is not the kind of tool, this is not trumpet playing. This is a resource to help you with your trumpet playing. So I would say, use this as little as you need to find improvement and no more. You might have the reaction of like, this makes me feel terrible. Some of the people I've let try this say, I don't know, this feels really different. If you're one of those people, but you're, you're really enthusiastic, you want that improvement, go slow. Some of these things that I'm sharing with you today took years to figure out. And I'm building that on top of 20 years of bad habits. So wherever you're at, go slow, build awareness, build sensitivity, try not to let change happen overnight. So you might be wondering, who is this designed for? Is it for pros? Is it for beginners? The reality is that anybody that uses this can find efficiency and nuance and improvements in how they use their read. And the truth is, anybody can benefit from this. But what I'm really excited about is what it's like for a beginner to start off with a great read. Even if you're an oboe player, you don't start off making your reads, but if with this, you could start off with a personalized, efficient read that helps you build awareness and efficiency right from day one. I have colleagues in the country that have tried this and have found improvements in their efficiency and endurance. On the other hand, imagine a beginner starting with nuance, sensitivity, focus in their read without having to go for the years of heartache of trying to understand why things aren't working. For me, I'm really passionate about this because when I was 21 years old, I had to start over and create a whole new embouchure. And that was filled with years of frustration of excess pressure, not balance, inefficiencies, hurting myself. This tool can really help eliminate those experiences for you. So these are just a few of the topics that I've been thinking about recently in terms of the embouchure and how it can be a resource for you. So stay tuned. I'm going to keep adding to this library of tips and ideas on how to get the best of this and how to get the most out of your embouchure.